In this video, I'm going to show you how to save a file and how to open a file to continue editing in Adobe Illustrator. So let's say I've been working on this file uh, for uh, today and I want to save it to work on it tomorrow. So once I have it ready, I'm just, it's real simple. I'm going to click on File, Save As, and then basically you can save it in any folder on your computer. Now, if you're in the Seneca Valley School District, we're suggesting all of our students to save things to their OneDrive account. So on the left-hand side, you may have to scroll up or down to where it says OneDrive Seneca Valley, and you'll see all of my uh, files here. Now, if this is your first laser cut file, uh, I would suggest opening up a new folder and maybe calling it Laser Cutter. And then if I click on open, open again, and now I can save my file. Now just like a regular, any old file, I'm going to call it this anything that I will remember it by. So I'm going to call it ghost, and I'm going to keep it as Adobe Illustrator. I click save, and then a second box will pop up. I generally do not touch any of these settings here. I just simply click OK, and it'll now save my file. I'm going to close out of the file and it'll take you back to the open screen. Now the next time you log into your computer and open up Adobe Illustrator, it'll show you your most recently used files. So you can clearly see that my ghost file is right here. I can just simply click on it one time and it'll open it up. But let's say you have a whole lot of files and you can't see it here. I can just simply click on open. I can go on the left hand side where it says OneDrive Seneca Valley. And then here's my laser cut folder. I can select ghost and open it that way. Either way would work. And so now I have access to my ghost file here and I can continue editing. So maybe I'm gonna shrink it down a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna add maybe my name. And I'm gonna select it. make it a little bigger and then I'm going to take a rounded rectangle tool draw it around my box make the fill color none the stroke color black and the stroke size 0 0.001 so now I have my file here that I've made changes to where it's going to raster cut or burn onto my wood, my ghost, and my name, and then it's going to burn all the way through the wood, my shape that I'd have right here. And then I can just simply click File, Save, and it'll save it, or I can just do File, I can just close it, and it'll ask me if I want to save the changes, and I can just simply say yes. So that's saving a file in Microsoft Word, or I'm sorry, <laughs> that's saving a file in Adobe Illustrator.